Apple invented this screw to keep all of us out of the iPhone. It's a five point screw, not a six point like normal Torx. It's not the same shape. They're, the angles on it are very different than the angles on the Torx Star. And it's so tiny that it's very difficult to manufacture. Apple really doesn't like companies like iFixit teaching people how to open their phones. So much so that they've reacted by specifically doing things to keep us out of our hardware. Like swapping the screws. I'll tell you something. If you if you with your phone that has Phillips screws on it, Apple started shipping the iPhones with Phillips and then they switched to the Torx later. If you take your phone into Apple to do any service on it, they will swap your Phillips screws out for start screws to prevent you from getting into your device. Manufacturers are going more and more toward products that are very difficult to get into, and we as consumers need to fight back and say, no, we're going to choose the repairable product over the product that's difficult to work on. We ended up just making the screwdriver. So from iFixit, you can buy that screwdriver. We're making them in mass quantities. This screwdriver set has that, that penelope screw in it, so you can get in there. But we're playing this constant arms race with the manufacturers. They come out with new devices with crazy weird screws. We create the screwdriver, get in as many people's hands as possible. It's not a good thing for the world. So those of you that are product designers maybe be working on the electronics team, push the rest of your company really hard to open up a little bit and allow people to get into their devices. I'm pushing really hard to uh, educate consumers. We want people to be demanding products that can be worked on. So if you buy a cell phone, you should be buying a cell phone that has an easily removable battery or a battery where you know that you can replace it if you need to. Uh, so we came along, Apple with the iPhone released a product where it's not easy to repair the replace the battery. And so we wrote step-by-step -step repair guides to show people how to get in and do it. And we've made the iPhone a much more environmentally friendly phone than it was when Apple first released it.